Hello and welcome to the Daily Thunk. Today we're asking the question, what is static electricity? Static electricity is a fact of life. It's the reason that when you walk across carpet, your hair might stand on end. It's why you can get an electric shock from touching a doorknob, or why rubbing balloons on your jumper will make them stick to a wall. But if you're like me, static electricity can be one of those things that seems cool but isn't all that useful in everyday life. So I was surprised when I learned that static electricity has some serious uses and applications in industry and medicine. Static electricity is the build-up of an electrical charge on the surface of an object particularly when that object has been rubbed against another material. Static electricity can be created by rubbing two different materials together, like when you rub a balloon on your hair, or it can occur naturally in certain materials. When you take off your clothes and put them in the laundry basket at night, they're covered with little bits of static electricity that make it feel like they're full of static cling. This is because your clothing has been rubbing against other clothes or carpeting during the day and collecting electrons from those materials. When you rub two materials together, friction causes the electrons in one material to transfer over to the other material. This leaves one with a surplus of negative charges and one with an excess of positive ones. The result? A charge difference between the two objects that can be seen by anyone standing nearby who might receive quite a shock from it. When someone touches something with a charge difference like this, like rubbing their hand across carpet or touching an object charged by friction, the electrons are drawn from one body into another, because they're attracted to opposite charges. In industry, static electricity can be used to separate some materials. For example, static electricity is used in the production of paper towels, where it's generated by friction between two rollers. This acts as a way to separate layers of fibres and cause them to cling together. Static electricity can also be used in laundry detergent to remove oil stains from clothes by attracting the oil away from clothing fibres with negative charges. This process uses what is called an ionic bond, or attraction between oppositely charged particles that causes them to stick together like glue, sometimes literally. Electrostatic painting is another way in which static electricity can be used. As you may have guessed, the principle behind electrostatic painting is that it uses static electricity to pick up paint onto your brush. You can use this process on virtually any surface, but it works best on rough surfaces like wood or metal. Static electricity is a convenient and inexpensive way to make things work. It's been used for decades in thousands of real-world applications. For example, to create glowing signs for advertising and other purposes. To make air ionizers that change the air you breathe. To make night lights that give off light with no heat because of no bulbs. So there you have it. Static electricity is an interesting phenomenon that helps us understand how we interact with the world around us. It's also a great way to make fun of your friends if you want to be mean. Have you ever got a static shock? Have you ever tried to build up a static charge deliberately? Do you have any cool facts or interesting questions about electricity? Do please leave a comment below, and while you're there, we'd really love it if you could take a moment to leave us a like. 
We post short videos like this every weekday, so please consider subscribing so we can look forward to joining you again in our next video.